So so far this season, um, you've had a pretty you know pretty solid results. Um, how do you feel your season's going so far, leading into High Point? Uh, Supercross ended up pretty well for me, and then obviously we have a, such a short break getting ready for the Nationals, but I uh, was able to get in the top 10 at the second round last time at uh, Texas, so looking forward to you know coming here to High Point. It's always one of my favorite events, so looking forward to coming here and improving on what I've uh, started here so far. Okay, what's, uh, What about High Point do you enjoy more so than other tracks? I mean, we basically are right outside of West Virginia. You're, you're in PA. Um, what about the track at High Point You know, is your favorite thing compared to all the others? First off, the, at High Point, the track from a rider standpoint is, is really fun. You know, there's a lot of jumps and obstacles and uh, some challenging off-camera corners that you know, definitely make it interesting for us. But uh, beyond the track being fun itself, it's, it's pretty much the spectator's enthusiasm that pretty much makes the entire event. Um, you know, I've been coming here for a long time now as an amateur and a professional, and it's somewhere that I look forward to coming to every year just because the fans are so enthusiastic. They, everybody comes out and uh, you know, really gets behind the riders, and it's, uh, as a rider you can really feel that, and it's, it's inspirational when you're out there. Um, talk a little bit about what it's like being, uh, you know, a family man and a parent, and as well as a professional athlete um, while traveling the country. Yeah, now that I have, a, you know, obviously a wife and, and two small children, it's it's a little bit tougher, you know, as uh, be a professional athlete because you know your priorities are just basically eat, sleep, and train before, and now you know I'm, I'm trying to uh, do my best to be a good dad also. So um, there's it's obviously very rewarding to have a family but at the same time makes it a little bit tougher to get the rest that you need to uh, train as hard as you, you know, as you want the next day. So it's a fine line and a balance, but uh, it's something that, you know, it's not a problem. It doesn't hinder my racing at all, and uh, I'm really excited to, uh, you know, have uh, such a big family right now. Awesome. Um, finally, what, uh, what would you be happy with results-wise at High Point and then also, uh, you know, to go throughout the remainder of the season? What are, what are kind of your, some of your goals? Well, I mean, first off, I needed to try to move into the top 10 in points. Uh, at the last race, I was able to uh, get 10th overall, which was, uh, you know, a, you know, a benchmark that I'd set, you know, prior before, and uh, that's kind of where I needed to be is inside that top 10. Now, you know, coming here to one of my favorite tracks like High Point, I think, you know, I'm going to really push hard to try to be inside the top five overall this weekend, and then hopefully with uh, a result like that, then I can, you know, get within the top 10 in the points. and. Uh, really, I'm just excited about the track. It's really one of my favorite ones of the year and looking forward to get out there and do some riding.